Ho <laughs> ho! All right, guys. I have got an amazing guitar to show you today. This is the Schecter C8 Hellraiser Hybrid. Now, this guitar is incredible. I'm going to tell you about the specs in just a second. But first, I have to tell you a little story about this guitar and why I'm holding this guitar right now. So, I actually borrowed this guitar and a bass from Schecter for a music video. This was not a music video for me, but it was for a friend of mine, Deacon Lacrosse. He's actually been on the channel before. And I was, you know, the, the second guitar player in the band for the solo project he's working on. Really cool stuff. You'll probably see it later on. Schecter was nice enough to loan me the guitar for the purpose of using it in the video. Now, of course, I'm primarily a six string player. So I was like eight string. And, eh, you know, that's just for these guys who can't think of enough stuff to play on a six string and they add more strings and, you know, pretend that they're doing something interesting. That was the attitude that I started with. But now, after having this guitar for a couple of weeks, using it in the video, and just spending some time playing it, I have to admit I was completely wrong about eight string guitars. And now, I borrowed this from Schachter, I kind of don't want to give it back. Let me tell you just a few of the reasons why I'm having such a good time with this guitar. Let's start with the materials and the construction. So it's a mahogany body, it's got a three-piece maple neck, it's got carbon fiber reinforcement rods in the neck, so it's a very, very thin neck, very thin and flat neck, but it's still very, very strong thanks to all that reinforcement in the neck. For pickups, we've got an EMG 57 in the bridge and a 66 in the neck. Of course, these are the eight string versions of those pickups. These are, of course, active pickups, so you've got a nine volt battery compartment there on the back. For controls, we've got two volumes, one tone, and then a three way toggle switch. Very, very satisfying feeling toggle switch. I'm all about that. The bridge is, of course, a string through design. Nice hip shot bridge here. We've got 24 massive extra jumbo frets, carbon fiber binding all around the body and on the neck and on the headstock. We've even got some Schecter locking tuners, and that's to lock the string in, not to lock the tuner from moving. It also has a beautiful ebony fretboard. And guys, look on the back of the neck here. They've deliberately left the gloss finish off the back of the neck, so it's super, super fast. I love it when guitar companies do that. And guys, the paint, okay, the finish on this. This is the elephant in the room here. Look at this. This has got, uh, you know, some people refer to this as chameleon paint, so it actually changes color as you look at it from a different angle. Schechter calls this the ultraviolet finish. Now, like I implied earlier, I don't play eight string guitars very often, and if you guys are unfamiliar with eight string guitars, first of all, welcome to earth, and second of all, the two extra strings are two lower strings. One is a low B, like you would find on seven string guitar, and then you have a low F sharp string below that. Now, there's a lot of little extra details that I want to tell you about in just a second, but of course we want to listen to how the guitar sounds, so let's go ahead and plug it in. We'll sit down and hear some of the tones that we can get out of this guitar, and for this demo, I'm going to be using my Black Star ID Core amplifier. Let's check it out. Thank you. 
All right, guys, now let me tell you a little bit more about this because there are some more really cool little, little sort of minor details, minor but important details. First of all, I know you can't see it in the video, but the fret markers on the top of the neck here, these are glow in the dark. So actually this really came in handy when I was shooting this music video because it was in you know, a dark, you know, dark room with just a few spotlights and things like that. So most of the time you can't really see the uh, neck very well, at least you know, from the player's perspective. And you get a little bit of light on these if you go outside and you come back in or you can even shine a light on them. And these fret markers on the top here will glow green. And if you've got the double one here to tell you where the octave is, it's really, really handy. Also guys, the nut up here is a graph tech nut. And just overall with this guitar, the neck is really, really thin, really flat, like I said earlier. And just the way the frets are done, the nut, the locking tuners, the active eight string pickups, the control layout, all this stuff. I mean, this, this guitar is a triumph of modern guitar design and manufacturing. These low strings are so much fun to do bends on because you get these really nice harmonics. The strings are just loose and sloppy in the best way. Now, if you are a six string player and you want to transition to an eight string, I think it's actually fairly straightforward. The top six strings is what you would normally have. And the low strings, they keep the same uh, tuning distance or the, the interval between the other strings. So you can still play all your standard power chords and that kind of stuff. Now, personally, if you are just starting out or a beginner guitarist, I don't think an eight string is a good guitar to have as a first guitar. Now, there are some people who would disagree with me on that. But uh, for myself, I think it's much better to start with a six string guitar. You have a whole slew of songs that you can learn first on six string and then you can transition to a seven or an eight string guitar. Plus, this guitar costs around $1,100, so it might be better as a guitar that someone steps up to when they've already been playing a little bit. Now, one last thing, guys. If you like that backing track that I was playing to at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna put a link in the video description below where you can download that for free. I will also have some other links down there for my instructional video and my social media and also links where you can get this guitar. And to the guys over at Schechter who loaned me this eight string for the music video, what eight string?